What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 18 of Onshape. Uh, what I'm going to be doing specifically is making this, modeling this table. Uh, we're going to do this pretty quickly since at this point we should be used comfortable with sketches and edits and, and chamfers. Uh, but I'm going to do some couple interesting things. Is if we have a part that we know we want to repeat along a plane, uh, how to do that easily, and then on top of that, how do we change the uh, this timeline on the left side to affect what we want to do? All right. So what I'm going to do is click on plus, click on Part Studio, and the first thing we're going to do is click on Sketch, and we're going to click on this top plane right here. Right click, hit View Normal Two, and what we're going to do is make our tabletop. So center point rectangle, just because I like them best, and we're going to do about a six inch by six inch square here the best we can hit the green check mark and let's go ahead and extrude this on through just some thickness there probably just a little bit thinner hit the green check mark and we're looking good all right <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is add our legs to our table so i'm going to rotate to the bottom side click on sketch click on the bottom of my table and right click hit view normal too that way we see it flush and we're good to go and let's throw in our circles here so this one circle is going to be for one leg of my table now if we had some complex geometry here like let's say if we if we made this table to be uh, something that would be out of a wood lathe or something that would be very detailed it would be difficult to repeat that multiple times so how do we take something that's already been made and repeat it? So I'm going to click this as new, that way it's a part. Hit the green check mark. And let's say this is something complicated and we don't want to spend that time repeating it. How do we do it? Oh, that's going to be in linear pattern. So what I'm going to do is click on linear pattern right here. And we're going to click on entities to pattern. We want to repeat this part. It's now going to know what direction to go in. And so I'm going to click on is this plane right here. Oh, direction. There we go. I clicked on direction now. We're going to go in the direction of this plane. So it's going to go perpendicular to it. And we want to do it twice. We also want to go in a second direction since we have two legs uh, of our table to make in both directions. And so we're going to say that's going to be two instances. And they're also going to be, uh, let's make them 0 0.5 inches apart, uh, 0 0.5 inches apart. And this second direction is going to be my other plane right here. Okay. So here's, let's go through that, that run through of, of things we selected. So we selected the entity to pattern is going to be that part, that first leg right there. The direction was the right plane to go in one direction for that multiplication of that linear pattern. The distance we'll edit here in a moment. And the instance count is I wanted two of those parts to re repeat in the right plane. Then we did the same thing for the front plane. Is we want to repeat two times, but we have to get this figure out this distance that it's going to go. Now that distance should be uh, a little bit under six inches because I thought we make a six inch square. So it looks like it's gonna be about five inches. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. We're gonna flip the other direction. We're gonna go five inches and there we go. What we've done successfully is not only did we repeat a part, but we also gave it some basic parameters on how far those spacings are gonna be. So when I click this check mark here now, what we've got is got my four table legs four legs, sorry, four legs in my table. Um, now let's make some edits to it. So if I, you know, want to do an edit to this part, let's go ahead and bevel this bottom foot right here. So where's my part two? Let's, uh, we'll see where it's at. It's all right, so there's our original leg. And what I'm gonna do now is bevel this edge. All right, and hit the green check mark. And we see that, uh, it did not reflect on those other pieces. And that's because the timeline. We see this chamfer over here that I selected, this bevel for this bottom, is after the linear pattern. 
So as far as Onshape is concerned is we made our legs and then we changed one of them. Well, if I take this chamfer and I drag and drop it above, it will change where that chamfer happens in the timeline. And so what we see is we did our extrusion for our one leg, we did an edit for it, and then we did our linear pattern of those things. And so if I were to drag this down below again, we see that chamfer is only for that one leg. Okay, so this can be really important if you're making a part and that part is, you know, repeats itself along, but then you have to make a small edit to it, make it longer, shorter, however you need, or you need to edit just that particular one for any whatever reason. You want to edit how it appears in the timeline. All right, <clears throat> now to make with the other one we did, we're going to go ahead and round off the corners of our table. So I'm just going to click on fill it top and bottom. Let's do a fill radius of 0.5. I uh, might be after 0 0.4. There we go. Hit the green check mark and we now have made our table. Alrighty guys, you can get as crazy and complicated with this as you want, but we looked at how to do linear pattern and how to make those uh, edit in the timeline. Okay, if you have any questions, comment, concerns, Feel free to throw them down in the comment section. If you like this video and you've been watching so far, please give me a like and subscribe. It helps out so very much. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.